Hi, Matt, product specialist here at Freeform Fabrication. Doing another video for the laser engraving tutorials, and today we're going to talk about engraving text. So, engraving text um, on a flat object or making it bend around a circle, circle, but also just mainly about how to format the text in different ways. So, the first thing you do is click on this FI icon here that says Draw Text, and you come in and bring that menu into here. So if we go to engrave this as it is, um, it will just do an outline. So we talked about that in the hatching video that we've posted previously. Um, so most of the time, people will want to hatch it, um, and those settings will be fine for the sake of this. If, say, you want to change the format of this, first thing you can do if you want to change the text itself, you've got a little box here in the bottom. And you can, if you double click on that box, bring this menu up here. So let's say we do that, and you can see the box will change. You can always press apply if that doesn't happen. So now we can drag this to whatever size we want. And again, talking about hatching, if we change the size while it's already hatched, always remember to press apply. Um, in terms of choosing fonts, You've got this um, bar just here, and that's got this the font we're using so far, Bell MT. Um, but then, if you just highlight the top one and press down on the arrow keys on your keyboard, you can change it to whatever font you want, and it'll also preview it nicely. So you can click through here, and you can find all of these fonts. Now, if, say you know which font you want, you can press a letter and it will go straight to the one that you want. This is one of my favorite ones. Um, but any font that is on your computer will be on this list. So you don't add fonts to the software. If you just add fonts, and there's, there's loads of videos on YouTube and, and guides on Google or whatever to find um, where how to add fonts to a computer. So if you've got a specific specific font that you want to use that's how you'll add it to the software it by adding it to windows to your computer itself so but say you're happy with this one um but me oh the the character space in it was too close together so it's a really easy change to that that's by increasing the character spacing here to 0 0.5 and you can see the font space is out and it's the same where if you've got multiple lines, so say we've got two lines in our text. Let's type fabrication properly. And press apply there and you can see it appear. You can also change the width of the lines. So if you want the lines to be a bit further apart, then you can do that there. And you see how they moved apart a little bit. And you can move them as far as you want. Then also you've got the width of the characters themselves. So let's just get rid of that one. So if you want to change the the width of the actual letters then it's just changing this character width here so for example let's, let's show you that and you can see how much bigger it got and how much um, wider the characters are you can also change the orientation of the fonts so in, in terms of the different lines so you can have it formatted to the left like this you can move it to the center like this or move it to the right like this So you can see how it's all aligned to the to the right there. Now, you can also then make it bold or italic or vertical or you know in in whatever ways you want. You can you can change the way the te the font is formatted, no problem at all. Um, one thing you might have noticed there is when the font when it went to the center actually disappeared which is interesting because sometimes what can happen is can you see the, how the F has disappeared there 
Um, so what can happen when fonts overlap like this? So there, there's a way to avoid that. Firstly, like we've done already, we can change the line spacing um, so that they're not touching. So if you did that by two mil, you separate them and then you won't have that problem. But say we wanted it in that format, there, there is a way. Firstly, you could do them separately. So hatch free form, or have two lots of text. So instead of having it as two lines like this, you have one item that is free form. and another that is fab and that would be a way of um, making sure that they both stayed separate and then you can move them around separately as, as much as you want but say you don't want to do that and you want that line spacing to be where it was like this and we want to hatch it there is a way to hatch it um, and what you would do is draw a random shape like this. We then pull over both the text and the box. You combine using this icon here and then uncombine using that icon and then delete the box. What that does is changes the text into a series of curves. So now you can change each shape individually, each letter individually. But say we want this orientation like this, what we can do is go highlight everything, go to modify, go to plastic and go to weld and click on an outline and it joins them together. So that you're not losing the, the, the detail and it's a nice, a nice, um, feature of it and now we can hatch that engrave it as a text however we want and there you go it hatches, it hatches properly so then say we're engraving uh, in a circle shape say there's a there's an arch where you want to engrave around what you can do is is measure a rough diameter of that it doesn't need to be exact measure a rough diameter of of a piece then you can measure the rough outside diameter of that piece so say it's something like that probably make that a bit make this a bit bigger this could also be a side profile of a ring if you wanted it to be so if you want the text to curve around sort of around a ring like that that's when you can draw draw the shapes like I say draw the circles in the diameters go to draw text and then what you want to do is click on the middle circle and you can see the text is bending round obviously it's way too big but that's that's a good start so then we can go in here on the left hand side and go to ring height and we can change that to say five mil and we'll see if that is a much better there we go that's a lot better now if say it's in the wrong place that's fine there's a few options you can do to change that so if you do transform you can do project like this and that will change it will keep the the letters upright basically personally prefer it to go around like this then it where you want the text to be so you can have it on the inside of that circle so you could do it from the outside circle and then move that down if you wanted to it's, it's personal preference you can do it from the bottom like this um do it within the line like that or you can sort of edit it around as you want then you can also change the angle so if you want it in a different place on this circle, you can do that, no problem, just by changing the angle. So you go on the left-hand side with 180, 270 goes down to the bottom. So you've got all the, of these options if you need them.
can also change as if maybe you didn't measure the diameter quite right, you can just change the diameter there. So there's a few different options there on, on engraving on a circle. Um, so say now when I preview, what you can do, if it doesn't quite fit the shape that you're looking to do, what I've always done is just double clicked on here and just moved it around slightly just to fit the curve a little bit better. You can even, if you need to, you can stretch out the shape a little bit, edit it a little bit, um, but just preview and then come out, make a little change, preview and then come out. And then you've always got the black marker trick as well, um, which I'll, I'll record for you in another video. Um, so there's, there's a few things you can try just to really make sure that position's okay. But if, make sure when you preview it says show contour so you can see the exact shape of the image as you do it. And that'll be really important. So, um, and that's really it for engraving text. Um, obviously, we'll, we can do text on rings, but we'll cover that in a separate video. There's a bit more of a process to follow. But in terms of formatting text in a different way, um, that, that, they're the few options of how to do it. So thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. And we'll see you in the next one.